it, the hustler. It doesn't matter where, whether you have the money or you don't have the money. What, what is important is you understanding the business, the concept of the business, and then you must have a plan that you want to embark on to make sure the business is surviving. Hello everyone, hope you all are well. It's a girl Tatiana Aina. So guys, right now I'm at City Aroma, one of the beautiful places you can have fun here in uh, Sunyani, okay? So there are a lot of people here, because this is not an advert. It's something that I really want to do and show you guys to the other part of Sunyani. You have posh places, I'm not just local. I can also be posh, you can also be posh. So we are here at City Aroma and I just love I just want to share the story behind this place, okay? Why this person wanted to establish something here in Sunyani. Because a lot of people might think that Sunyani is too far from Accra and everybody thinks Accra is Ghana, Accra is Ghana. But we are here in the Bono region. So right now, let's go to City Aroma. Come with me, you love it. Thank God. So right now I'm here at City Aroma okay. and you are the MD here. Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank um, you. This is Teroma uh, with around Fiape of okay. uh, Calic University Road. Um, we do sell both continental and the local food. For the locals, we do sell the fufu, the bankus, the omutu, the ampisi with the tilapias, as well as the continentals, which okay. is the french fry, the yam chips, the fried rice, the jello fries, the banku and tilapias, oh, wow. you know, the That's chicken pieces, mm -hmm. the goat pieces. Oh, wow. And, yeah. Yeah, I paid and we eat for. <laughs> <laughs> That's not... We have some few catfish over there. We do mm -hmm. the point and kill. That's where you point. Ah, point. You say catch yeah. and kill, boy. Uh, so you point... catch it for yeah. us. Yeah, you just do the pointing, then we do uh -huh. the catching for you. Oh, okay. And then they okay. say to me, if you are not pointing, but I could be, then we just yeah, try it for you. No? Yeah, oh, just try it for you. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. And apart from that, do you do events? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do events. Um, wedding reception, um, funeral reception, sometimes birthday organizations. We do all corporate settings. We do all as well. Oh, that's, yeah. that's interesting. Please come. Um, whenever you are in Brown Hafo, anywhere around Sunyane, City Aroma is the best place to be. It being your organizations, it could be birthday parties, uh, let's say funeral receptions, um, wedding receptions, corporate organization. City Aroma is the best place to be. So no place aside City Aroma. So we are always welcome to Teroma. Thank you. Yes, so you are always welcome to this place because me, I am here to eat. What about you? Adia Sambe did it in Makota. Hello, boss. Hello. <laughs> I'm Tatiana Aina. What's your name, please? My name is Ata Apraku. Okay, welcome to this channel. Oh, welcome. Can you talk to us about yourself? Because we are talking about this beautiful place, City Aroma. Mm -hmm. Why City Aroma? Oh, all right. So I think, um, you know, a couple of years ago when we established the, the restaurant, mm. we wanted to come up with a name. Okay. Um, what what the business goal was that we create a business of restaurant that has the the first kind of home taste okay which is where people go and eat and they feel like they have had meal they are satisfied okay and also besides that we also have entertainment of a kind that comes in through city aroma mm -hmm. so we wanted to give a name that matches the goal and the vision of the restaurant. Okay. So, you know, once what, what, I was just sitting down with my sister, you know, trying to coin out so many different names. And then um, I think we came up with a lot of stuff that were like city, city food, city that, and all that stuff. And then I said, you know, we want this place to have the aroma that pulls everybody all, all, all across. Then the so I said, came. well, then add city aroma. That's and that's so it. So like, then we came up with the aroma and make it so city because aroma. Because when you are establishing something, the 
first thing you have to think about is the name. That's right. And this name is going everywhere. Everybody's mentioning City Aroma. And it sticks well in the brain. Like, you remind of it every time you come here. You, you are sitting here listening City Aroma. Mm -hmm. no, you, let me be frank with you. No, are you smelling the aroma? I can smell okay, it. Okay, so... Uh, see, see, every, I'm sorry for you guys that you can't every, smell it because I can smell it. Everything is, you know, you can see the aroma, mm -hmm. the food, everything is out. That is the, that is the focus of the place. So we, we are selling food that, you know, when you come in here and eat, you feel like, no, this is only home. It's oh, the only place okay. you can get the taste is okay. home. So food. how many years have this been going Barely, on? let's say about uh, almost four and a half years now. Okay, so From, when you started, I was coming here. Oh, really? Yeah, you didn't have much of these things here because it was just the restaurant over there yes, um, and I think one of these roof um, yes I think yeah. I think we we set up the place and then we put a bit of stuff on hold because okay. myself personally was also traveling a lot okay so you're not, are you based in Ghana now I'm based in Ghana wow. yeah but but you know on and on I was moving out I was doing some projects in the US okay so okay. Um, we put some stuff on hold but mm -hmm. now if you can see we are back rebranding the whole place it again. It looks so beautiful. The, the, but the aroma is still staying. It's still mm -hmm, here, so there's mm -hmm, no problem. Mm -hmm. The aroma is still here, so, <laughs> That's so, so there's nice. no problem. But now we, we have to, we have a lot coming up. There's the food, the taste, our pastries, everything that you, you, you just come to City Aroma and love it. Okay. We are taking it even from the restaurant to anywhere that we can. Wow, that is what we are wow. doing right now. So there yeah. is this thing I really want to ask people making business here in Sunyani. Mm -hmm. Let's say the Bruno Ahafo region. Mm -hmm. When these investors come, because you said you were living in the USA, mm -hmm. why did you come to Sunyani and not okay. in Accra? Because everybody is doing it in Accra. Why yes. this place? That's a good question. You know, um, this I've thought about these questions many times and I've had these discussions with a couple of my friends. Um, I schooled, I lived in Accra myself. Mm -hmm. I lived in, you know, Kwashiman before I moved to West Legon, East Legon. I live in Accra. Mm -hmm. I even had my secondary school education in, in Accra. Okay. I, I went to Presec. So I know Accra very well. Mm -hmm. um, before I even left the country and went to do my master's programs in the USA. But, you know, I'm from the region. Mm -hmm. You are and from this place? I'm from, I'm from, I'm from, you know, I'm from here. And okay. it's not because I'm from here. That is why I think Sunyani is the place to do business. I see it as everybody's thinking about Accra. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we want best food, Accra. Mm -hmm. Good entertainment, Accra. Accra. So, but you know, when you look at Ghanaians everywhere, Sunyani people here as well, they want good entertainment too. They want good food as well. The same people that are traveling to Accra, are also the same people that are from here going to Accra and coming exactly. here. So if we can have everybody go to Accra, mm -hmm. why can't we have everybody come to Sunyani, come to Kumasi, come to Cape Coast, come to, come to anywhere which is part of Ghana. Mm -hmm. So whatever is happening in Accra, it can happen we too. all deserve it to happen everywhere. So, so, so nice. as a business, you look at it in the terms of, do we have the market? Mm -hmm. Are the people here? Mm -hmm. Do they want the same fun? And, and the feasibility is clear. Everybody wants the same thing that's happening in Accra. So okay. why don't you make it Sunyani so that people can also enjoy and have the best food and then the best entertainment and anything that is, you know, booming in Accra can also be booming here in Sunyani. Okay, that's so nice. Yeah. So when you started, how was it when you started with everything? Because we the youth, when we are about to start something, we may have the money, mm -hmm. but maybe we want to establish things very fast, very fast. Mm -hmm. Like, so how was the hassle? Were you born on money? Did you have everything at home? Okay, so I think um, this is what I said. You know, in business, it, you know, it, it doesn't matter, like you're saying, mm -hmm. it's a hustle. It doesn't matter where, whether you have the money or you don't have the money. Mm -hmm. what, what is important is you understanding the business, the concept of the business, and then you must have a plan that you want to embark on to make sure the business is surviving. It, it, the money alone cannot do it all. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you look around here, it is something I, I sat back and, and designed this plan. I sat back and designed it a couple of years ago. I did everything here myself. The, the location, the architectural design, it's, it's my idea that the architects pick it up and we design the place. Mm -hmm. So, so the, the, the hustle is where I sat back and made sure I'm, I'm creating a business that has uniqueness. And at the same time, targeting everybody else that I am with in Accra and everywhere that we are, that the same people can come in here and then they will love and accept the idea. That's, That's the most difficult part of it. Mm -hmm. So 
the, we started, like we said, you came here first. It was just a f one, one place. Yes, And then we were place. adding on one after the other, not because there was money and we thrown everything else here. Mm -hmm. We are still in the beginning stages. I always say, even we are four years old, mm -hmm. we are still sitting back every day. We're branding. We're branding, thinking about ideas, you know, listening to the customers. Why are they still coming in? What can we change? So business is not one thing that you just put up and then you are done. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's we are still hustling, I would say. We are still mm -hmm. moving through it, making sure, you know, the aroma would survive 10 years from now. That is how all my models are done. Okay. Everything I'm doing, I look at 10 years from now, 20 years from now. Okay, so That's this place plan. is established just by you, no other white person. No, no, no. Just and, uh, you. I mean, we don't, there's no investor. Okay. And, and then the ideas and everything else is coming from me it's, it's it's my ideas and i am working towards it to make sure it happens it becomes successful that means we also can do something oh yes everybody can do it i always say it, there's a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. in everywhere in the world not only in ghana there's a lot of opportunities there's a lot of challenges you know money and everything else but the most difficult part of every business is when you have a plan mm -hmm. that you sit back you know and, and, and create and make sure it, it will work it will function mm -hmm. when the plan is there it will pull the money small to pull the money and then I think you, you, you have the success of the business. That's so nice yeah. of you. Yeah. You you establishing this kind of place here in Sunyani mm -hmm. is, is the best. Mm -hmm. It's just the best. So yes. I love it so much. And, and, and then not to cut you off, um, you know, there's so much that is coming. When you talk about the aroma, the city aroma, uh, it's not only for the food, as you can see. You know, um, we all deserve entertainment and good food. Mm -hmm. We have the kids, mm -hmm. we have the the, 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 the kids study in school, we have the junior highs, there's a lot of polytechnic mm -hmm. people here. Um, we have you know, universities around, we have our parents around, we have our grandmothers around. There's a lot of corporate institutions coming in around. So, so we, we are servicing the community. We have about more than 200,000 people living in the enclave. Mm -hmm. So f good food, good entertainment, movies, stand-up comedies, um, we have um, karaoke nights, oh, wow. we have parties, we have events. All of these things are designed to make sure that you know, we can service everybody else. In it. And so, so all these steps that I'm mentioning, it's not only Accra, people no, that needs it. That's true. Everybody needs it, all over. Even our grandmas, you know, we have had a program here where we had Ma Mother's Day oh, wow. and we brought mothers around and you, you, can, you, can, you can see the joy mm -hmm. in the moms that, that have been home for weeks that are not going anywhere. So they come in here, they get good food, they get entertainment. That's so that is city aroma. Yeah. So I just want to ask you this then. Do you think Africa is the future? Yes, I think, um, um, yes, it is the future because we are Africans. And so, you know, the future is what we perceive and what we want to make it to be. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of, we have equally talented people. We have all the opportunities. It's the mindset that grows everything in this world. So if, if, if Africans believe our future is in our hands, truly Africa is the future. That's so nice. Yeah. Thanks so much. Well, I'm so impressed right now because people think Ghana is just Accra alone, okay? When you have to establish something, you should also think about other regions. You can think of the northern region, Kumase, you can also come to Sunyani, that's the Bono region, and also the Ahafo region. There are people here who can um, also have this kind of entertainment that you have been establishing there in Accra, okay? Right now, we are going to talk to their chef, okay? We will ask her what they cook, what, what she can cook, because chefs, there, hey, they can cook lots of things. Oh, hello, sis. I'm hello. Tatiana. What's your name? Marita. Marita, I've heard you are the chef here. Yeah. Okay, so what do you serve here? What do you cook? I cook continental, both continental and local dishes. Okay. I do some of the pastries too. Okay. And more of creativities. Okay, are you from Ghana? Yes. Are you a Ghanaian? Yes. I'm originally a Ghanaian, just that I grew up in Togo. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, that's so nice. So you'll be having the Ghanaian and Togolese. Togolese food, Hey, yeah. that's <laughs> nice. When we talk of food, I just love it. Like, I love food so much. Food is good. Food is good. Yes. Food is life. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice. So you cook bangu and those kind of things? Everything. Hey, Togo, Togolese people eat this thing kind of yes, thing. Yes, they eat hey. it, especially the akple and adime soup, those things. Uh-huh. We have different types of food and um, soups 
it happen. Try, come and try. You will love them. Yeah, there will be things. like new things now. French uh, meals and English meal. Acheke? Yes, acheke with braised uh, tilapia, those things. <laughs> <laughs> that's so nice. Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah. So you cook yourself or you have people? I cook myself, but I have another chef under me. I work okay. with you. Yeah. That's so, so nice. That's yeah. so nice. We also appreciate these people doing something for us here.